Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Camry XSE. Now the most suitable features on this XSE is its heated front seats, you also have your panoramic roof and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Camry XSE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XSE is its daytime running lights. And then if we take a closer look at your front bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors. And over on the side you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your two-toned uh, color uh, combination with the black roof as well as your black mirrors, integrated signal lamps, heated mirrors, foldable mirrors and vortex generators. And if we take a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing is you do have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. But if you hold it there long, it'll actually open up the back doors for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your red leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side you have your automatic headlights as well as your traction control on and off. You have your trunk release and gas cap release. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, Bluetooth, volume control, voice recognition, and then if we take a look here, over on your right, you're going to see your lane departure alert, you have your cruise control settings, mode select, and seek function. Now with the XSE, you also have the paddle shifters on here as well. Now with the XSC as well as you, you do have the push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at a couple of the features that you'll see here, you're going to see um, a couple of things that you can use with your multi-informational display. So with the multi-informational display you can see your fuel statistics as well as your driving support. Satellite radio, you have your pre-collision system as well as your park assist, as well as a couple of other additional features with your tire pressure monitoring. And then you also have your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and your parking sensors as well as a couple of other additional features. Now I'm just going to show you just the startup menu here for the uh, center dash here, which is actually kind of cool. So if we actually take a look here, you're just going to see the startup menu for it in a second here. So with the center dash here, you're going to see a couple of different features on this multi-informational display. So if we take a look here, you're going to see your fuel statistics on here. And then if we take a look at the very top, well, actually, I should say your menu, you're going to see your digital clock as well as your audio. You have your phone, apps, and a couple of other additional features. Now, if we head into the apps menu, this is a part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as a Slacker app. So for instance, if you wanted to have your music streaming from your phone onto the touch panel display, you can do so. Another great app is the Scout GPS app, which is nice if you don't have navigation actually built into your center dash, then you can actually stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display as well. Now taking a look just down below here, you do have the dual zone climate control settings as well as uh, your mode select just located down below here as well. Now underneath that you're going to see your power outlet as well as your USB and auxiliary down here. And the other nice thing is you do have this wireless charging pad here as well so when you actually turn it on you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. And if we take a look underneath there you have some storage space matted to an automatic transmission. You have your eco, normal, and sport mode along with your electronic uh, brake here. And then you have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. So with the electronic brake, I should say it's the e-brake. Now at the very top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top, you'll see 
your SOS safety connect. So in the event that you are in a front end collision and you're unable to uh, respond, emergency services will be sent out to you just to make sure you're all right. Now you'll also find the open and closed for, as well as the open and closed for the sunshade visor in the back for your panoramic glass roof, which is actually really nice because not only do you and your front passenger get to enjoy the view, but your rear passengers can enjoy the view as well. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your trunk. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of the trunk, you'll find your back of camera just underneath your Camry emblem. And then you also have the rear spoiler on the back as well. Now the nice thing with the XSC models, it does have that keyless entry system as well as an automatic trunk release. So taking a look at your key fob, you're going to see your lock, unlock, trunk release, panic button. So if you hold down on the trunk release for approximately two seconds, it'll open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now if you do need the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat just by pulling on one of the two tabs that you see on either side of the trunk here. Now underneath the floor, you'll find your toolkit as well as your jack, and then if we look one more under, you'll find your spare tire. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.